So look at this, water all over the floor. Hey there, it's Boots Own here. This is a Beko WX842430W. It's a washing machine that I found on the street and I did a test wash, uh, test rinse and, rinse and drain, or sp no, test spin and drain, the lowest option there. And everything worked fine on the basis that there was no water in it. Now there is water in it. It's washed on cotton 60 for about an hour with no problem, but I guess when it went to the drain out cycle, it's um, got some issues somewhere. Uh, some of the water was coming out in here. I did see some water pumping out in there. The water's cold, that doesn't mean it's not heating up properly. I'm gonna have to give this a wipe up. Just heard the interlock go there, I think, yeah. I've just turned it off to catch it. I'll wipe it up and I have a feeling there is a leak somewhere between the pump and the hose out so that there's a crack in the hose out i can't see any water you can see that gray hose just going down there i don't see any wet on that so i'm guessing it's coming just after the pump so either that hose isn't correctly attached or something like that oh it's a bit of a pain but uh it's a mechanical failure rather than a circuit board failure so it's one that i'm probably more likely to be able to fix yeah so we'll we'll get stuck in with that so I've plugged it out and I've got the machine on its side. It's probably still full of water, but we'll try and see what's wrong with it here. And get some light. So, something here. That's dry, but that's wet over that side. So, look at that baby. You can see the difference in colour there. That's all damp there. That's the pump. The pump body feels wet. That's all still full of water. Yeah, that's still full of water. So where is it leaking from? Very strange. It all feels dry in there, but this corner of the matting is obviously very wet. I could just hot wire the pump and see what happens. hose is cable tied to the back there. Now the, the tub is leaning over on it at the moment but that's just that's not a big deal. What I can see is there's a clip up at the top. The hose looks in okay condition and it doesn't take much water to run down to do a bit of damage so let's look at it from above. So up above then there's this little black hose. Where does it go? That could be the issue. I don't know where it's meant to go but it's yeah, actually, it's, it's meant to vent to somewhere. That's an interesting one. That that could be it. It's got a fatter end there, so I think it's meant to go back onto the tub. Let's leave that there and see. I can feel where that's meant to go. There's a little thing here. I suspect that might be the end of our woes if that's what it is. Some water would come out the main pipe. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm just pushing that back on. I don't know if we can see any better. Not really. There's just a little slot for it there. It's like a, a breather or something like that, I don't know, to equalize the pressure. That's it as far on as it can go. Let's plug it back in and do a spin and drain. No, oh, just a drain out should do it if we can have that option. Okay. Oh, it's gone back into the cycle. It is pumping. I imagine that's what the problem was, but we'll know in a minute if the floor gets wet. It, is, it, was, it did a bit of a splash there, but I don't know what phase it's on now. It's in the wash phase. It's taking on more water. You see, I left it so long that the floor is it's not dry, but it's dried out. I would prefer to go to a... Spin and drain just and then do the wash again. Hold that, Let's see if that cancels it. Now let's just start again. Yeah, try and press it and hold it. Nope. It's flashing because I've maybe cancelled it. 
if I press it and hold it. I don't know how to cancel it, there's probably a trick. I don't know, it's gone to wash, right, I'll just have to wait with it and see what happens. I heard water coming out of it there and there it is, it's, I think it's pumping now. So I've put this around just in case there's a little bit of a bond, but... See anything coming out? It makes sense if this hose was leaking out. Be careful, there's electricity there. For obvious reasons, that might be it, you know. That's a bizarre fix. I guess if it's been shunted around, that could come out. Yes, yeah, so there's a bit of water coming out. Stick with it, that might be the, might, might, that might be it solved. 32 minutes now, so I've been here for 8 minutes just waiting for it since I resurrected it. I'll come back at the end maybe, and see what happens. Okay, so it's well into the spin and drain with only 4 minutes to go. Uh, the ground is dry all around it. So I'm quite pleased with that. Just pick up that cloth there to show you. All gone. All dry. Couple more minutes and we'll sign off for four minutes. So there it is at the end. Doors open, everything's alright. A bit of stuff in there. It's actually just wiping off. I'll get a brush on that straight away. While it's damp. Put this somewhere safe. I'll put it up here, but I want to keep this dry. I'll come in another video. Another Becco. not actually moldy, it's just dirt for some reason. Maybe that is a little bit. It's not bad, you know. It's not bad at all. Get some bubbles on that and give it a bit of a clean. But there you go. Something dirty in there. It's sort of a cloth or something. A bit of a leaf. Maybe, yeah, it's a bit of a leaf. There we go. Becco WX84 2430W on a 60 degree wash. It sprung a leak. And it was that little hose inside. Now it's back in action. I'll give it a clean up. I will probably do another wash in it. Maybe a 90 with a dishwasher tablet. Stay tuned. Any questions or comments leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later. Oh, one of the questions in the last one was where did I get this from? And I think I mentioned already. I found it on the street. Pretty good machine. But if it was leaking, that's maybe what they thought was wrong with it. And just thought, ah, we'll get a new one. Here we are. Thanks for watching. See you later. And there we go, just for people who want to see that. It's got a little bit left in it, but it'll clean up uh, in the next wash, I'd say. And if it doesn't, there's some little spots there, but they're not. Nothing I'd worry about. Yeah, and it's only because that's up as far as my finger there is as far as I've cleaned. So they all clean off. And uh, it'll blow through in the next wash. See you later.